back out here at the South Point Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, the 2021 D3Hoops.com Classic. I'm Pat Coleman. I'm joined by Brian Lane, the head coach at Transylvania. Now, his team goes home 0-2 here in this tournament. Uh, but, you know, obviously not your first trip here, not even your personal first trip here to Las Vegas. So but even before we talk about basketball, I want to talk about your rodeo obsession. I think when you were here in 2012 or so, you're talking us through all of these things that, that have happened here, and I don't know a darn thing about any of those things. Yeah, the last time we came out here, we, we actually entered this classic 11 and 0, and we were off to the best start in, in school history. Uh, and we're actually, we're, we had tied it and ended up having a good good experience. And we've been trying to get back and the, the timing just, just hadn't worked, worked out. But uh, I was actually out here uh, two and a half weeks ago, a friend of mine was getting inducted into the Golf Coaches Association Hall of Fame, and I just felt like I, I needed to come out. I had never been to the convention, and it's here in Vegas every year, so uh, I made sure to come out and get a picture of the rodeo. And uh, and the, this place, this place was hopping. There was a lot of nice trucks out there. There's a this place seats about 4,000 people. We are lucky to have maybe 200 or so. Uh, when the horses are here, it's a whole different thing, a whole, a whole different thing whatsoever. All right, so you uh, you come out of here, um, you know, tough loss yesterday to Whittier. Marriott is a top 10 team in the country, obviously. That's a, a different story. Um, and early in today's game, today's game being the Marietta game, you know, you, I, we, were trying to we were trying to decide if you were taking a technical on purpose, if you were trying to get, you know, get teed up. What was that about? Well, we were, we were, we entered the game knowing that we really had to elevate our intensity and play a lot more aggressive and tougher and than, than we normally do uh, because we, we've played them in the past and it's a physical game and, and so we, I was trying to get us to match that intensity and the best way a lot of times to do it um, unfortunately is to yell at the two guys that had our game yesterday because they they were a little sensitive but it, i mean i was happy that our guys responded to it and didn't back down because we got down 16 and we cut it all the way back to four disappointing the how we played yesterday um little understandable uh you know that late flight and you know we were eating steak and eggs at 5 a.m the day before when we arrived here the day before the game and uh so we i did not handle yesterday's game nearly the way that, that i should have because i really we had, we had the whole everything set up for playing marietta today and and i was trying i did a lot of stuff yesterday that i if i had to do over i wouldn't i wouldn't do so. Your team this year, like a couple seniors, juniors, starting line, a lot of freshmen too. What's it, you know, what's it like working with it? Well, the, the freshmen have come in and we've kind of had to throw them into the fire and they've responded. Um, Penn has been averaging a double-double and has been very good in the early season. We knew yesterday that, that uh, and even tonight, the two, the two post players that we were going to go up against were really good defensively, off the chart defensive numbers. So that gave him a, a tough time. And then, and then we didn't see the true Zach Laramore because he, he's a first team all conference guy for, for us. And you know they, each of the teams really did a nice job today. He got got in foul trouble, um, and but I was disappointed for him personally because he's, he was so much better. Um, as a senior, and Brandon Cromwell had a terrific, he had a terrific tournament. Brandon Cromwell, uh, Cromwell named to the all-tournament team. Tell us a little bit more about Penn, you know, recruiting him. Did you know that he was a guy that you were going to be able to plug in as a freshman and get a double-double out of? I really did. He he went to the high school right next, uh, right next to Lexington in Woodford County. Uh, my father actually coached at Woodford County High School in the same gym that he plays in, that he played in. Uh, so we had some connections there, and as as I watched, he played some point guard. So we'll, we can move him inside and then move him outside as well. And we're working on some things to make him better. But he's going to be a guy that just as he gets stronger and gets more comfortable uh, with, with how I how I like to to coach him and and all that. He's going to be a terrific player. Kobe Napier is another terrific guard. That's a freshman that. Uh, from Knott County Central that just shoots the heck out of it. And what what pleased me this trip was the fact that he didn't just settle for threes. He got the ball to the basket and, and either got fouled or got some scores. 
You were talking about your dad. Don Lane was a 500 plus win coach at Transylvania, you know, Athletics Hall of Famer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of success. Now I find I'm getting older, you know, I'm, Me too. I'm pushing 50, I'm sorry to say. Um, do you find yourself as, and I assume you're getting older too. I think that's how it works. Do you find yourself kind of channeling more of your of your dad as that as, as time goes by and such? I cut my hair so I would look younger. <laughs> and it didn't work. It didn't work. I, uh, I'm lucky in the state of Kentucky, I'm lucky to have a last name that is just really well respected. And it's not because of me. I mean, I, he had the largest basketball camp in the, in the, the state, started at Trancy in 1974, had the opportunity to leave Transylvania to, to take some Division I jobs. And, and Transylvania is just a special place where you feel like a really big time coach and a big time program and the, the coverage that we get there locally and, and everything. So as, as I go along, um, I, I really appreciate even more what he's done, uh, what he did. 26 years, 509 uh, Kentucky Hall of Famer and uh, just a guy that I, I respect a, a whole lot. I always step back and say, man, if I had, if he wasn't my father and I followed him, what would I be doing? And, you know, we have the Don Lane Classic every year to, to show, show respect, but I probably don't do enough for him, you know, as you would do for, for a former coach, but uh, he's just, he's a representative of Transylvania that, um, that really money can't buy. I mean, he's done a tremendous job over the years, and then they got stuck with me after after he retired. And I'm and I've been there 21 years, and and it all it's because it's a great place, a great place to raise a family. Uh, I wanted the experience that I had growing up in Lexington. I wanted for my kids. You come out of this tournament and you go straight into conference play, like literally straight into conference play, January 2nd, right? Um, you know, rolls home and off to a good start. Uh, Defiance surprising in the early going. You guys had uh, a good year last year in that COVID uh, shortened year. You know, what does the state of the HCAC look like right now? Well, we've already played a couple conference games and got off to a tough, tough start. Uh, we had we had a bout with a flu. We we had everybody here, uh, but we probably had 10 of our 16 guys that, that had the flu. Laramore missed those two games, and we lost by one and three. Uh, so we're kind of behind behind the eight ball to start the, the conference season. Um, but it, it's nice because we're going to be able, to, instead of flying back to Lexington and have to drive all the way to Fort Wayne, we're flying back to Indianapolis. We'll spend, in, spend New Year's Eve in Indianapolis and then drive up. Um, just, and it's, it's, you know, the administration recognizing this is a tough trip. Um, and how can we be ready for that, that game? Because now that's the important thing. I mean. I, sure, I would have hoped to have been a team that, that could be an at-large team. You win this game today and, and win yesterday. It's a whole different, you know, you, you're in the talk. Yeah. Um, and I've been around long enough. We've both been around long enough to know how, to, how you do those things. So now we've just got to focus in. But I, we found something. We found something in the first half when we got down double digits and we came back and really battled. And uh, I told them, I was like, we have to stop being nice guys. It, you've got to, you've got to raise your level of intensity and play aggressive. And uh, John's team is just terrific. We played them uh, two years ago in the Don Lane Classic. Uh, I don't think you can probably find a team out there that has three guards <laughs> in that rotation that are as good as them. We tried to take away the three today, and obviously they throw it into the the top. Uh, you know, he's the second team all. All conference guy inside. So, you know, what, what are you going to do? That, that pretty much covers it. Uh, you know, glad to have you here. Hopefully, uh, next trip is not another nine years down the line. We appreciate having you. Well, it's a terrific venue. I mean, the hotel is, is awesome. The, I know our fans have enjoyed coming in and everything from the, the hospitality, from the arrival to the practice facility, just right up, the, up there. Yeah. Everything makes it, I mean, it's just a big time event and we appreciate the invitation and uh, glad we were able to get back and, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get back at some point. Well, we'll look forward to that. That's Brian Lane, head coach at Transylvania, his team here at the 2021 D3Hoops.com Classic.